G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. System setup and product review for this one. We're going to take a look at Redcore LXQT. Now, this isn't a distro I'm familiar with. Uh, all I know is that it's based off Gen 2. Um, I'm not a fan of Gen 2 Linux personally. Um, but it was suggested I have a sticky peek at this by Shader from a live stream conversation earlier in the week. So I thought, well, We'll give it the backyard IT treatment. Gonna have a sticky beak. So, let's get into it. Alrighty. So, here's our typical virtual platform we use for everything. 4 gig of RAM. Dual core Xeon CPU. 120 gig drive. And our ISO. Red Core Linux 7808 LXQT. So, let's go have a... Uh, let's power it on. Like I said, I don't know much about this other than it's based off Gen 2. And uh, right off the bat, I just want to say that I am not a fan of Gen 2 Linux personally. Um, we all know my favourite four. So we'll, uh, I'll just personally stick with them. But we'll go and have a look at this. We'll do the right thing. Jeez, what a way to start the weekend, eh? We'll just do an automatic boot. What a way to start the weekend. I can't, like I said in the promo video, I can't take a trick this week. Got to be honest with you, the uh, vlogs are going to be short, isn't it? <laughs> I haven't done much. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow over on my other channel, Back Out IT Vlogs and other stuff, to catch up with the week's vlog. Where I can say what I really think of the week. <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, right. Okay. Right. I can tell you now, it's not 12 o'clock. You can see the time down there. It's only 9 o'clock Saturday morning. Okay, so... What is it? Red Core. I believe is what the installation said. Yes. That's interesting. You've got to put a password in to kick off the installation. This looks like it's going to hurt my eyes. <laughs> Look at that. All right. Wow. Okay. Um, yes, I know there's no battery. I know there's none of that. Um, right. So, how do I... Oh, what the? Hang on a minute. I'll try that again then. Got to put a password just to install the operating system? Are you kidding me? Uh -huh. Try root. Good grief. Um, yeah, okay. Good, am I going to have to move it, mate? No, not Hobart. Melbourne. Right. Let's continue. We'll just do that. We'll do all that. Red Core LXQT. Um... Leave it as that. And do that. And install now. God. I'm not exactly 
happy. I think probably the best way to talk about it. Interesting that you've got to put a password in to actually get into the live session and then another password in to actually install it. I think Gen 2 does the same thing actually, if I remember rightly. Like I said, I'm not a I'm not a big fan of Gen 2. Um, in any way, shape or form form personally speaking. God, it's red everywhere. Um I never have liked Gen 2 Linux as a distribution, personally speaking. Um, I've always found it one of those Linux distros that, for someone like me, it's not exactly forgiving if you get my drift. It's got wine in it, steams in it. I've got no idea what that is. I know that's steam, I know that's wine, but I don't, don't know what that is. Could not tell you. Running unpack file system operation. Hmm. Well, now it's saying it's five past one this morning. Are you kidding me? Okay, so we get LibreOffice. We get WPS as well. And some sort of zip platform. And a CD burner. It looks like there's a bit there to get yourself started. It's very red. <laughs> it's almost that sort of red that nearly hurts my eyes. Okay, so we get KVM, we get QEMU, and we get VirtualBox. Okay, right on. This should be flying. Seriously, 4 gig of RAM on a dual core 3.4 gig Xeon CPU. This should be flying. And I've got no other VM running on this either, so. I know the card's gigabit. Alright, we get. IRC, we get a forum and some sort of email client. God, what is this thing doing? Six minutes so far to install. We're only at 26%. Not exactly flying, is it? And you get every language under the sun as well. I know that's English. That's German. I don't know if that's Italian or Spanish. Don't know what that is. There's German. Jewish? English? Couldn't tell you. <laughs> Can't even read all that. I've got a funny feeling this thing's just stalled out. We may have to give it some more RAM. Although, 4 gig, I mean. 
you, can, you should be able to install Linux on 4 gig of RAM. You don't necessarily need to have 6 or 8. So it supports NVIDIA and AMD. I just looked at the hypervisor and the hard drives having 60 fits at the moment. 27%. We've been going for nearly 8 minutes. Nearly nine minutes now. Holy hell. Normally doesn't take this long. I can't I can't even remember how long it takes to install um Gen 2. As in traditional Gen 2. I remember earlier this year that, uh, or was it last year or something, that there was a port of Gen 2 to Sun 4U, but it never really took off. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing from a Linux point of view with regards to me. 28%. Good grief. How heavy is this operating system? Seriously, how heavy is it? Eight percent. Oi. This should be hammering. It's got to be one of the slowest Linuxes we've set up. QEMU. If that person did say that Oracle's going to kill off VirtualBox, I'm, I'm not keen on these two virtualization platforms, only owing to the fact that I've never really got them to work properly. Um, and even when I have, they seem to have gone in for more software virtualization rather than hard, hardware. Oh, thank God. 44% now. Now, I've got to be honest with you, I'm not keen on this right at this point in time. I don't like it. It's taking an awful long time to install. 11 minutes so far. Nearly 12. Geez, you wouldn't want to be in a hurry to, uh, to install this one, would you? Especially if you're only running 4 gig of RAM. Local config operation or locale config. Oh, there's Italian, that's Spanish. Gracias. <laughs> mm. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> Little Aussie joke there. I think that's Italian too. Well, I might be French actually. Oh, God. It's definitely taking a long time, isn't it? You really wouldn't want to be in a hurry. got no virtual machines running on the ESXi server and this is this slow to install. Alright, well, we'll cut it here and uh, once it's installed we shall come back. Alright, well we're still going here, we're running package operations now. Don't know how long this one's going to take either.
Okay, so at this stage I'd be saying that unless you've got six or more gig of RAM and somewhere in the vicinity of three and a half gig CPU, you could be waiting a while. So you, if you, let's just have a look at the system status here. So we're only using five gig. You can see here I've got everything off. Seven hundred and forty meg. It's just so slow. Oh, finally, the bootloader operation. Oh, hallelujah! Well, as I said, you wouldn't want to be in a hurry to um to get this going. Okay, so why haven't you boot rebooted? Hello? Wakey wakey. Hello? Oh, okay. Power. Reset. Alright, try this. Okay, let's have a look here. Something failed. I didn't even see what it was. Alright. There it goes. Right. Huh. Alright. So here's our desktop preferences. Alrighty. So let's, well, first off, let's get that. Uh, that monitor setting right so we can actually have a decent look at it 1400 by 900 all right well, that's a bit better all right so let's see what we get this is before uh, you do any updates or anything we'll just have a look at the core system you get R Compton Featherpat K Calc Keypass XC, we've got Package Pac-Man File Manager and a clipboard history tool. Games, you've got Play on Linux and Steam in there by default, so for the gamers they'll be able to get going once it's installed. Graphics, we've got FontForge, we've got GIMP, we've got Inkscape, LX Image, PDF Viewer and Screenshot, Internet. Okay. I don't know what the browser is. Office. LibreOffice by default, but you can get WPS for it. We've got CMake, Notepad QQ, and Sandbox. That's interesting. Red Call Linux. As you can see there, you've got all the Gen 2 stuff. Sound and Video. We've got VLC Player. MPV. Pulse Audio. TV Max. Vid Cutter. Pretty good there. Let's go and have a look at HTOP. Let's see how much it's actually using. Oh, geez, it's heavy. Oh, down it comes. Okay, so 
296 meg of 4 gig of RAM, so it's pretty light there, very heavy in the CPU. 83 threads, two running. We're already at 40%, just over 50% on both cores. Wow. Jeez, this thing is a bit on the heavy side. Okay, wine's in there by default already installed you just need to configure it whole lot of lxqt settings we've got date and time we've got open box so that's pretty good session settings locale keyboard and mouse desktop notifications screen saver get the right password that time or not probably not I did tell it to have it as set as root password so anyway what you're supposed to do from the documentation if I can find it again I seem to have lost it uh, I've got KDE partition manager and a um, for CD EMU hmm, GPS function Oh, QT application for managing and running processes. I'm sure that was the right password I put in. Mm, doesn't matter. You get the general gist of it. They suggest that you... Um, now I've lost it again. Oh, where'd it go? The minute you um, log in, you do the updates straight away. But uh, we won't do that. Oh, there it goes. Finally. All right. So, what have we got? Um... So some of the crypt stuff is there. There's wines in there. Hmm. FF MPEG is installed. already got that in there oh. uh, you've got some Python stuff you've got QT stuff some GNOME some more KDE frameworks you've got obviously the LXQT stuff you've also got some build tools that you can uh, play with as well got a whole lot of media graphics stuff so there's actually a fair bit in there actually looking at looking at all this this is the uh, package manager for red core We've got some system apps there including any updates that need to be done some system boot stuff we've got a partition manager you've got system sysblock Command line for writing Microsoft boot records. Okay. Not the standard Linux networking tools. Whole pile of virtual stuff. If we look at to see if we've got VirtualBox. There's a virtual box, the modules are there for Gen 2 guests. And the current version is 5128, which can be installed obviously. Wine's there and already in. I think if you're gonna get all this, you'd probably want to get the whole lot. So you'd want to get the modules and the extension pack, which it pulls directly. Not too bad. I'm not keen on it. I'll be brutally honest with you. Um, 
Let's see if we can have a look at... Oh, that's almost very CDE, isn't it? That's almost old school. Oh, there's Firefox. Oh. Okay. Okay, so, oh, open box isn't actually there, huh, okay, alright, so, oh, I'll give up with that, <laughs> um, yeah, look, I'm not keen on it, to be brutally honest. Um, I think if you're a fan of Gen 2, um, you'd probably run it. Let's see what version of um, VLC we get. Oh, we get 2.2.6 Umbrella, so it's the latest version there. Um, I've got to be honest with you viewers, I'm not keen on it, personally. I think it's... I, I know I'm going to get howled on for saying this. I know. And um, you probably won't. No, oh, you can get Cubzilla as your web browser. I know you'll probably howl on me for saying this, um, but I'm not... I'm not keen on it. I don't like it. Um, I, it's light. But even with it just sitting at idle, if we go and have a look at HTOP. And we just leave it sit there. Mm, 305 meg. CPUs have quietened down. I, it's light. But... I'm, yeah, look, I'm not keen on it. Um, if you if you like Gen two distributions, this will probably you'll probably enjoy this. But me personally, I'm not keen on it. Oh, there's enough there to get you started before you start upgrading everything. I mean, you've got a a, a a pile of applications to get yourself settled in with using Red Core, but no, I'm not I'm not keen on it. It's light. You can see there, it's only using 306 meg cold. Uh, it it'd be up to you. It's not for me. It is definitely not for me. I I'm not. I don't like it. But um, if you're into Gen two and you like uh, systems based on Gen two distributions, you'd probably have a look at it. But it, it's not one that I would I would use. It's nice. It's light. But yeah, not for me. Not for me. Um, personally speaking. There we go. Red core. Ore. LXQT Linux 17.08. We shall catch you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.